it's Turkey Day. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Hi hey guys, Justin here, and today is the Campfire Cooking Collaboration Part 3, the Dessert Edition. We've done dinner, we've done breakfast, now it's dessert. It's that time. I am going to be making a caramel apple dump cake in a Dutch oven. So that's why this fire is going. We're going to let that burn down, get a good bed of coals going on. And the other channels involved with the collaboration are Time Out to the Trail, Jason Outdoors, Knights of the Trail, Our World Outdoors, Hawkeye Hikes, and Southwest Ohio Adventures, and yours truly. These are a really fun group of guys and gals, so if you're into this type of thing, just go check out their channels. I'm sure they would really appreciate it. Um, I would appreciate it as well. These collaborations are fun. It's been a lot of fun for me to get to know these people. So I've got my ingredients right here. Let me show you what I'm working with. It's super easy. Although I'll, I'll admit, I've never done this on a fire before. So I'll also admit, I've never made one of these before. My wife makes it several times a year and it's delicious. Let's get to making some dessert. We have one box of buttery yellow cake. We've got Sunday syrup, caramel style. Two cans of apple pie filling and one stick of butter, which is still inside. You're a good boy. We have to let this fire burn down into a good bed of coals so that we can bury that Dutch oven. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the cake mix and a stick of soft butter. And then get your hands in there and get dirty. You want to mix it up good until it's nice and crumbly. I've got two cans of apple pie filling and I'm going to put them right into this Dutch oven. Now I'm going to take that cake crumble and just spread it out over the top. Oh yeah, it's already smelling good. A little bit more of this on top. Now that this fire's burned down, I'm just gonna move some coals aside. I'm gonna put the Dutch oven right on top of those coals. Now from here, I'm just gonna let it sit for about an hour. Well, it looks to me like I've burnt it. No, oh, that doesn't look all that great, does it? Nope. It looks like I pretty much messed that one up. Looks like a big, huge fail. I'm going to try and be positive right now and say that maybe it's not that far gone because <laughs> I like things crunchy, right? I like stuff crunchy, so this looks pretty crunchy. All right, guys, well, it's looking pretty burnt to me, but I'm going to go ahead and try it anyway. It's not burnt on the bottom, which, which tells me that I just left it in too long. You know what? I actually don't feel like it's... Well, yeah, it probably looks pretty bad on camera. I mean, it, it's overcooked, no getting around that. I'm, I'm not going to try and make it sound like it's not. I mean, what are you going to do, right? They can't all be perfect. My wife definitely makes it way better. Be sure to check out everyone else's dessert, because I'm sure it turned out way better than mine. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed watching me fail. <laughs> it's funny. I 
definitely screwed this up. It's really not that bad. Happy Thanksgiving, guys, to you and yours, everybody. Cheers. We'll be talking to you later. It's pretty cooked, that's for sure.